you have to think about the cutting and stopping the inflation. But overall, you have to ask once again, as our founders did, what should the role of government be in a free society? The role should be very simple, the protection of liberty. Ron Paul had perhaps the most enthusiastic pep rally last night of all the ones we watched here. He says he's the only candidate who can challenge Mitt Romney. He says he's the only true conservative in this race. He came in second last night to Romney. And Doug Weed's the senior advisor to presidential candidate Ron Paul. Sir, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Bill. Uh, last <laughs> night you said you were pretty ecstatic. Your percentage of the vote is up 15 percent from 2008. What do you think? Yeah, we're, we're very excited. There are just a lot of people that, that love Ron Paul, and they see him as almost an a impossible figure. Uh, people after Watergate wanted honesty, and now they want someone who's incorruptible. There's corruption with, uh, with Wall Street. There's corruption with K Street and the lobbyists. And here comes this country doctor from Texas, won't take a bribe, won't touch the lobbyist money, votes against uh, any pay raises, won't take his congressional pension, and gives back the, much of his money uh, allocated as a congressman. Uh, you, you can't believe a figure like this. He's incorruptible, and that's what people are looking for right now, someone well, who's he, not gaming um, the system. He said he's nibbling at Mitt Romney's heels. That was his opening line last <laughs> night. But, uh, I mean, really? 39% to 23%? That's still a 16-point spread. Yeah, you know, this is a secret that is hidden in plain view. You can go back over the polls for the last six months, and what you'll find, whether it's Rasmussen or NBC Marist or Washington Post ABC, what you'll find is that the perception is he's unelectable. It'll be 9 8% of registered Republican voters who think he can win. In those same polls, they pit him against Obama. He does better than all of the GOP candidates except Romney and is in a statistical margin of error with Romney and the CBS poll that came out on Monday showed that he beats everybody with independence including Obama well, and you, Romney you know there's a big challenge coming up on the 21st in South Carolina by the way the youth vote 50 percent of the vote between 18 and 30 uh, from New Hampshire last night in 2008 mm -hmm. Ron Paul was a fifth place finisher in South Carolina why is that state <laughs> such a challenge for him well, it, this will be a challenge this year, too, simply because of the fact that some of these candidates are practically committing suicide there. They're going to dump every dime they have into South Carolina. But the reason we see it as just a race with Mitt Romney and, our, and Ron Paul is because many of these other Republican candidates that we talk so much about aren't even on the ballot in Virginia. Some of them aren't on the ballot in Illinois, the fifth largest state in the union. Uh, John Huntsman's not even on the ballot in Arizona. There there are 24 presidential candidates on the ballot in Arizona. So some of these uh, gentlemen are not really running for so, president. So what, what you're arguing is no matter what happens with the finish in South Carolina, Ron Paul will continue uh, to the state of Florida at the end of January. And he'll continue beyond that. And we think we'll do very well in South Carolina because, as you know, among military families, the military, they give more money to Ron Paul, the active military, than all the other GOP candidates combined. And there's a reason for that. They know that Ron Paul is not going to send them into a war to die for some Pentagon contractor. That, He'll that send is, them to war when it message. has to defend America. Uh, Doug, we thank you. We're going to check in, <laughs> Thanks, okay? Bill. See how you feel in <laughs> okay. about a week, all right? Okay. Thank, thank you, you, Bill. Martha.